Okay, so anytime you select something, you always, always want to refine the edge and make it look as natural as possible. So I could right now, I could control C and copy, or you can go up to edit and copy. Um, and then you could go to another picture. And let's see here, I'll go to one of my other backgrounds and I could paste him in the picture. Now, watch, when I do that, look at how you can still see the edge. Let me go here. So he doesn't look very natural. There's an edge all the way around him. So before, you have to do this before you copy and paste him over. What you're going to do is you have to be on the selection tool still, and you're going to go up to select and mask, or you can right click and go to select and mask here. So this is where in this menu, I am going to really refine the edge and make it look very natural. So in the select and mask mode, it gives you different views. I like to look at this on the bottom like this because up here it's hard to see that the edge is actually not looking very good. On this transparent background, I can really see the areas that I need to refine. So what you're gonna do is change the view mode and I like to click it on layers. Sometimes I switch back and forth just to kind of see. But this does a really, really nice job. Okay. So right here, there's the quick selection tool again. So if you need to bring anything back, make my brush bigger with my brackets or up top, you can add to the selection like so, or you can subtract and get rid of little things that don't belong there. Okay, so you can refine your edge there. So if you need to make little adjustments, like maybe under his little leg here, I could take away a little of this like that. Um, so his little nose, I probably shouldn't have touched because now it's a little bit, <laughs> not, it's a little trouble finding the edge. Okay, but that's okay. I can fix that in a minute too. And I can go back to the plus and add back to his nose. It's adding a little bit of the background around it though. Okay, this is my favorite one, the wispy tool. So the wispy tool, if I make my brush a little bigger, will kind of find the edge for you. Sometimes it does a little too much. So if you make your brush a little smaller, I think that helps in these areas. It, it just didn't take away as much. But this refines the edge, especially for fur. Watch when I do along his fur. It was able to find that little black area behind him and get rid of it. So I'm just painting along the edge of his fur with that wispy brush. These are usually the only brushes I use, but I usually go around. It will get rid of like anything that's not the bear. I'm going to take, go to the minus. There's like a little weird spot there. So this wispy brush, I like to go all the way around him and just really get rid of any of the background colors, get rid of that kind of black line that was around him. Hit okay, there we go. And it might look a little too wispy at times, but it will look way better um, when you actually go and put it on another background. I'm gonna like, his little nose is kind of going away here. It looks a little fuzzy. I'm gonna zoom way in. Oh, that looks pretty good actually. So I put it on the plus sign and just click to bring it back. This little solid one will give you, bring back like solid areas, like see it, it's bringing back the background a little bit too. I can put that on the plus and minus. So I'm gonna go back here and just click it again with that to take care of it. So the wispy one will really get rid of some of the background in a more subtle way. This one's a very solid way it'll bring it back and this will add and bring back the, the selection a bit. So um, these other ones, I'm not actually sure. This looks like it's that new tool, so I don't know what it does. I don't know. But this, I, I really like the way it defines the fur. So this one, I'm not sure. And these ones, you know, this is just to move your picture around. You can always press your space bar to do that as well. Zooms in, you can press control plus or minus. Okay, so these two are my favorites for sure. 